Hello. So, on the past four days, I didn't have a cold. I think you can feel kind of it in my eyes, my red nose, and my voice, I think. I got a cold because I was dumb. I went out with my friends at night, thinking that it was kinda hot. It wasn't. It was cold as fuck. So I got sick, obviously. Yeah, so I wanted to share with you some TV shows that I've been watching. You know those TV shows that you, that make you feel warm? I don't know, they're, they're like really lighthearted or really funny. So, as I been sick, I, the only thing that I've been doing is being on my bed, watching series, and doing TV. So, so, I made a list. First of all, I'm going to be talking about the comments. And, I would really recommend the good play. It has a Christian bell in it and it's really funny. It's about this <laughs> girl, Eleanor, who dies and go to heaven. I don't want to spoil it, <laughs> but it's really funny. It, it has nothing to do with a religion or whatever. It's just a comedy about this person who's really not that good, trying to be, trying to earn her place by being good. Just watch it, yeah. Then, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I don't know why more people don't watch it, because it's really one of the best comedies on TV right now. It's about this, um, this group of cops, detectives from the Brooklyn Police Department, and like their cases, and each one of the characters is really likable and important. There's a really diverse cast. We have people of color, LGBT characters, you know, a lot of women. So not everything you need to that every TV show should have, basically. And the good place also a uh, really diverse cast, so points for them. Uh, and one of the classics now, I think, Parks and Rec, Parks and Recreation. So we had um, Amy Poehler, you know, Aubrey Plaza, Chris Pratt, a lot of really funny people on TV. It talks a lot about female empowerment, which is amazing. The lead character is a female, feminist. Just, I don't know, it's really, really, really good. Now, let's go to more of like, um, comfy Visions, slash reality. I don't know in what in what category. It's like the Great British Bake Off. Just the most wholesome show about cooking ever. It's just all the people there is so nice and. It's funny, actually. Even if you don't care much about food, I mean, who doesn't care about food? And maybe you don't like to eat them, but just watching all these beautiful recipes, and it will make you hungry. That disclaimer. But everything's, everyone is so nice and talented. That you just want everyone to win. And, yeah. And the last recommendation I will give you is 
queer eye. It's a, a new series on Netflix. And every one of the things I just said, every one of the shows I just uh, told you, they're, they're in Netflix too. And Queer Eye is about these five queer males that go around America trying to not fix it, just help these other men to feel better about themselves, have their life, you know, and make their life better. It's not about this makeover show that all the care is about looking pretty and have nice clothes. It is about that a bit, but it's about making of these five wonderful uh, men make this uh, other person feel good about themselves and try to make their life just better, you know, help them in any way they need. It will make you cry, for sure. I cry literally in every episode. But it will make you laugh too, because they're, all five of them are really likable. And even the people that is in the show, and the, uh, the people that they help, they're really likable and, I don't know, I really like it. And I wish I hadn't been watching it. But I'm going to watch it again. So, I always forget this part. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And, yeah, I post videos every 